SRAM's GX 10-speed shifter is their mid-range 10-speed mountain bike shifter. In this video, I'm going to measure the cable pull of this shifter. Measuring the shifts was straightforward. It shifts accurately and consistently. My indicator doesn't have enough range for all the shifts, so I repositioned the indicator halfway through. I took more than 200 measurements across both sets of measurements. Here we can see the amount of cable pulled between each pair of cogs, and we see a kind of U-shape. At the extreme ends, the shifter pulls extra cable because derailleur limit screws control the shifts to the smallest and largest cogs. Pulling extra cable allows the cable to go fully slack when resting on the low limit screw and pulls the derailleur firmly against the high limit screw. Closer to the middle, the shifter compensates for the peculiar way derailleurs move. Derailleurs typically move a little slower towards the ends of their range of motion and faster towards the middle. To compensate, the shifter pulls less cable in the middle than it does at the ends. The smallest shift pulls 2.92 millimeters of cable, so we can say that the shifter has a cable pull of 2.92 millimeters. I've taken the middle seven shifter steps and created the pull ratio curve for a derailleur that would best match a 10-speed cassette with a cog pitch of 3.95 millimeters. Here we can see the pull ratio curve, and we can observe that it reaches its peak of 1.34 at around 18.5 millimeters of cable pull. We can use this pull ratio of 1.34 to find derailleurs that could be compatible with this shifter. In fact, these numbers very closely match those of the SRAM GX 10-speed derailleur. The derailleur has a peak pull ratio of 1.35 at 19.3 millimeters of cable pull. Thank you for watching. I've laid out all the specs here for reference.